Welcome back to So You're Interested In, the show where I break down an artist's discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into their catalog. On this installment, let's take a look at the indie outfit, Golden Apples. Beginning during the drudges of the pandemic, Golden Apples started off as more of a solo project for singer-songwriter Russell Edling. As his previous band, Cherry, was slowing to a halt, Edling got back to work and started up Golden Apples. This band has a pretty stellar lineup, taking members from other groups like Spirit of the Beehive, Kite Party, and Sun Organ, amongst many others. There really isn't that much of a difference between Cherry and Golden Apples in terms of their sonic identity, as both play very heavily into the bedroom pop, DIY, 90s college radio sound. Edling has a knack for writing lo-fi tunes that runs the gamut from noisy and jangly indie to more straightforward pop rock tracks. However, Golden Apples' sound runs much deeper than that quick summary. They've released quite a few projects since their COVID inception, all of which have their own personalities and identities. So, to help you out, I'm going to be recommending two albums and three individual tracks so you can finally take a bite out of Golden Apples. As per usual, we're going to start with the albums. The first Golden Apples album that you should check out is their 2021 release, Shadowland. This is a hodgepodge of fuzzy, noisy, garage, indie music that has a lo-fi charm that is undeniable. By no means are these groundbreaking, world-altering songs, but they are instantly accessible and have a very high replayability value. I would know, because I caught myself listening to this album much more than I typically would for when I'm researching and writing these videos. Mainly thanks to songs like Garbage, which features this thumping acoustic guitar that doubles as the track's per Cushion for quite some time. Edling laments over this rustic instrumental as he repeats the lines, I never wanted to be anything. I never wanted to be anyone. Even with these depressing lyrics, the instrumental never allows this song to be dragged down, lifting you up with streaky guitar licks and crashing drum smacks. The song Jock deserves some love too, opening up with scratchy vocals and a simplistic, quiet instrumental. If you're a fan of the Sparkle Horse album It's a Wonderful Life, then odds are you're gonna dig this one. There isn't too much substance here as it kind of wades around in the sonic nothingness as much as it can. That's not a bad thing though, as it really loses itself in the muddled mix and great lyrical wordplay. Another real laid back track is Banana, which asks for a more light and airy approach to the vocals. The instrumental beneath is crunchy and blown out, defying rigidness in favor of garbled noise. Think early Alex G recordings, they have similar appeal. Finally, we get to the penultimate track, Wildflowers. This is yet another jangly indie cut that actually has some pretty heavy undertones. The fuzzy tones sound exceptionally good here, while Edling's nearly apathetic vocals drone over top with as little melody as possible. Once it hits the hook, the gain is turned up even more, with the growling guitar and bass pushing forward like they're in a stoner metal song. Wildflowers is a great amalgamation of this whole record, as it draws you back in time and time again with their signature scuzzy slacker sound. If you like your music a little rough around the edges, then I highly recommend giving Shadowland a proper spin. The next Golden Apples LP to listen to should be their latest effort, 2023's Banana Sugar Fire. With an overall dreamier soundscape, this group continues to release their blend of noisy indie goodness. In comparison to Shadowland, Banana Sugar Fire feels bigger, encompassing a wide variety of sounds while still narrowing in on an album-wide vibe. The album's second track, Guard Stick, is indicative of all I just said. Featuring a voluptuous bass, bright guitar clangs, and snapping percussion, Guard Stick is a groovy joint. The vocals glide across the instrumental like a bird hovering over a tranquil lake on a sunny afternoon. Without a doubt, this is one of the best sounding Golden Apple songs. Which is certainly saying something because the track Waiting for a Cloud is another standout due to its overall sonic texture. It's a little indie rock runner that bounds along at a great tempo, thumping with confidence and pride. It's also a really dense instrumental, relishing in its menagerie of noise. The vocals kind of remind me of the alt-rock hits of the mid-2010s, adding an extra melodic element to the tune. The track Materia is nothing to sneeze at either, seemingly taking influence from bands like Sonic Youth and Yola Tanga. The drone Droning, nearly drooling vocals feel borderline robotic and apathetic in the verses, where the hook has much more spirit and gumption. Around halfway through the cut, there's this instrumental changeup that brings in these absolutely lovely guitarist scales that really brightens the tune up with their vibrant tones. If you're looking for a neat indie rock track with post-punk vibes, then Materia is right up your alley. Finally, this LP closes out with the song Green. This is absolutely the most shoegaze adjacent track on Banana Sugar Fire, with its crushingly slow riffs and moves 
moody atmosphere mix. The fuzz is turned up to 11, hiding these soft vocals behind a wall of noise. Green is an excellent album closer that pushes the boundaries of what a Golden Apple song can sound like. Be sure to give Banana Sugar Fire a full spin because it is definitely worth your time. Now that we're through with the albums, let's take some time and talk about some tracks. The first Golden Apples track to check out should be Special Baby from the 2016 LP Gloom. Now, technically this isn't even a Golden Apples song, as this was released under the moniker Cherry. And as we learned earlier in the video, Cherry was the predecessor to Golden Apple, so I'm gonna allow it, this is basically a Golden Apple song. In actuality, all these semantics mean basically nothing, it doesn't matter if Cherry or Golden Apples made Special Baby, because it is a stellar track regardless. It's kind of a basic and rudimentary instrumental, relying very heavily on an acoustic guitar and Edling's vocals. In some sections, the vocals even borderline the stylings found on Neutral Milk Hotels in the airplane over the sea. The instrumental does eventually fill out with a routine percussion and pleasantly present bass. By no means is this the best song that Edling has ever released, but it is a nice little tune with some subtle flair and intriguing storytelling. Another great track that you should be checking out comes in the form of Majestic Wonderland from the 2017 album Dumbness. Once again, this is a song by Cherry, but you can find all of these streaming under the Golden Apple's name. Longtime viewers of this channel will know that I don't typically do this sort of thing, but there isn't enough Golden Apple's material out there quite yet, so I figured, what the hell, let's talk about Cherry too. This takes a different approach than Special Baby, as this cut is much more DIY focused with its jangly, disjointed instrumental. It kind of stutters along while the ethereal vocals hover above the noise. Even with this slightly more hectic instrumental, this song still sounds so goddamn good, especially the guitar solo that comes towards the end. And that's all without mentioning the instantly singable hook, where Edling nonchalantly sings, come on light my fire. No, this isn't a Doris song, but I can see where your head went. Majestic Wonderland is absolutely the type of song that I would toss onto a bonfire playlist or something along those lines. Do not skip out on this great cut. Last but certainly not least, I needed to check out Let Me Do My Thing from their 2022 self-titled effort. There are a bunch of great tracks from this LP, but none have hooked me quite like this little tune. It's a bit of a slow burn allowing the instruments to ring out while the vocals have this lo-fi quality to them. There's a certain swagger and attitude in the vocal delivery as well, a real laid-back, fuck-off kind of swagger. This is the attitude I assume permeates Margaritaville. I mean, who among us hasn't wanted to tell someone off and say my way or the highway? Factor all of that together with a hook that is simply irresistible, and you have yourself a song that will be stuck in your head for months to come. Seriously, I started doing my earliest discography listens about four months ago, and this hook still worms its way into my head at least once a week. So yeah, Let Me Do My Thing has the forever spinning seal of approval. And that is going to conclude my video covering Golden Apples. Links to all the albums and tracks discussed here will be located in the video description box below. Scroll down even further to the comment section where you can let me know if you liked any of the albums or tracks that I picked here. Maybe you're a massive Golden Apples fan and you think that I completely butchered this list, that's fine. Go to the comments and let me know. While you're down there, feel free to recommend any artist that you would like to see covered on So You're Interested In. Just know that I do have a bit of a backlog built up, so if I don't get to it right away, it's nothing personal, I'm probably working on it. If you're a massive music nerd like myself, then might I recommend joining the official Forever Spinning Discord server. We're in there talking old music, new music, hot takes, fresh finds, and everything in between. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please join, we'd love to have you. There is a link to that in the description as well. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you are subscribed to Forever Spinning. I put out new videos just like this every single week, along with other shows that I do, such as Stacks of Wax, The Variety Show, and where it's at. There's much more content coming down the pipeline, and being subscribed not only helps me out, but it also lets you know when these new videos drop. And yeah, that is going to do it, outside of my usual reminder for you to go out and support your local record store if you were able to, along with the local artists in your area, and well, till I see you next time, happy listening.